Hi guys, uh, it's EGS here. So today I'm here with another uh, deck profile from using cards from uh, the clan selection. And this time we'll be talking about uh, Dark Irregulars, which basically is a Gastille deck. So uh, of course you will see the content in a bit, but there's something that I want to let you know first before we actually go into the uh, deck content. So this is more with a uh, Gastille focus, so it's more like a uh, I know this card exists, I want to see how well it can do, so it will be Gastille main and I will be using cards that help Gastille to achieve the goal and um, mainly give the spotlight to Gastille. So if you are for example looking for uh, a Shahar Rod with Gastille, that's not the deck profile they are looking for. because uh, if that's the way you want, then probably uh, your focus will still be on Shahara because he's still uh, a probably a stronger one um, and more feeding the mana, more fightable uh, compared to Gastille. So uh, just want to let you know that in mind so that you uh, won't expect any like uh, Shahara coming out and let's go into the deck profile itself. So first, uh, I'm running four of the Gastille, which uh, you can cut it to three. Uh, even though I say it's main, but he uh, probably won't be your main ride, and you prefer not to have him on your main ride because uh, you usually won't have the confidence to get 20 souls when you ride your great three. Uh, it's not completely impossible, but I'd rather not aim that. And it's not that easy anyway, so not stable, I'd rather save it for the next turn. And since you don't have a protect marker that you can gain, um, so riding him first uh, is very very risky because you are basically lacking a uh, PG that you usually can have when playing uh, other great freeze with uh, the protect marker. But its effects is... Uh, well, it's powerful, but then um, the cost is too high. Because you, uh, at the start of the battle phase, you first color blast one a drawing card, so at least you get a card back by color blast one. And then what's next is for five soul each in your soul, your opponent select one of those four effects, uh, can't be duplicating, and then you just activate them in any order you'd like. So first one is all your friendly units get crit. Second skill, a uh, second uh, effect is during the turn your opponent's vanguard power becomes one, but will still be able to get more power if they hit triggers. Uh, first skill is you just make them can't use any auto effects, and then the last one is they put one card from hand face down to the damage. So the fourth one, if your opponent's got a quick shield, they will just do that. Uh, third one, your opponent will try to avoid that because they can't PG. But if, uh, for example, if you see a uh, ghosty matchup, which I just put up before, even though it's not completely, uh, like a very, very extremely great showcase, but you can see all those ghosty effects are basically permanent effects. Uh, and then by having the first skill, it's not affecting them much, but then allows them to do that funny friendly combo with uh, Path of Ghosty to do like infinite guarding. So that is still not exactly very, very effective skills that you want to your opponents to choose, but uh, you rather want them to choose the first one and the second one, which is gain crit so that they need to basically guard all of them. Uh, and turns your uh, opponent's vanguard power to one, so they need to drop you a lot of cards to guard with. So that's the uh, skills that I think you really prefer the most. But if your opponents choose the other ones, then you just need to make, also make sure when you play this deck, you uh, let them to even choose those effects. That is not going to help them at all. That's something that you want to do which I will tell you a little bit more uh, later after we go through the deck profile. And then uh, next, 
I'm running free of the No Life King, uh, which is basically your first ride in uh, helps your Castile to meet the target a lot easier because he can uh, soul charge one when he appears and after battle ends if you have heard him or more souls you can at least put four more cards into your soul uh, even you re-ride and do another attack so hopefully you can basically get at least one uh, protect marker from him and if you go for Castile you don't have the second protect marker if you go for other great freeze you can still get another protect marker to survive say if you have a Castile in hand and ready to ride next turn or you can just put your Castile in soul so that you can just rewrite your uh, Castile from soul and then next turn hopefully you can get at least like 15 souls because you already have 13 souls and plus 4 so you are very close to the 20 uh, but the first challenge you have is to reach 13 souls which uh, the deck will try the best to help you reach there. And then other great freeze I'm running is uh, Judy Ray and then uh, Hope on them. So uh, Judy Ray is something that you when you don't actually want to use your Castile yet and still want to be a little bit impactful, do a little bit more uh, multiple attacking then he's your choice to rewrite from uh, No Life King uh, and then even as long as you have like 10 souls even you just ride him uh, as your first ride you can still get to retire some stuff so it's not that hurt and also you can uh, of course when it appears on Vanguard Rhaegar Circle you can basically call a grade 2 or lower from your soul which I will tell you what is a good target in a bit but uh, he's here and then uh, Hope on Them is something that I, uh, when I very very first test the deck, I actually didn't run at all. But then uh, since we need to reach 20 souls anyway, so, uh, and I always find, even I get my opponent's Vanguard to power 1, uh, get their, uh, get more crits on my front row, they're still kind of easy guarding. But maybe uh, that's the clans that I'm facing that they are good at guarding, maybe. But in order to make them hurt a little bit more, I'm forcing them to every time to give me at least 20k shield. So even if I uh, just go for a normal Castile turn, uh, activating like half the two effects, at least turning them to power one, uh, they need to give me 15k shield for one pass and even 20k shield is still uh, a one pass because I'm at least 12 and they are 2000 uh, 20,001 so one trigger will still pass so if they want to be safe they need to give me 40k guard or at least 20k guard with a PG so that's is going to use them a lot of hands uh, and that's why I'm still running one um, but if you do want one more feel free to cut it cut it one more and that won't hurt you at all because what you need is to try to have a Castile in soul and uh, use a no, uh, Death Anger skill to just appear right into Castile. Which shouldn't be hard, shouldn't be hard. In entering our grade twos, first uh, new cards, Poison Egg Adopter. Uh, it's a very good card because even though he costs you a hand, which in this deck you won't have a lot of hands at all. Uh, allows you to basically get three cards that is grade two or lower with the same name put two in so put one in hand uh, but do note that you need to put two cards into your soul first it's not up to two so uh, you need to be very very careful if your cards that you have in your deck is only two you just have to put them into your soul and you have none in hand but this card uh, kind of like uh, Ember Master but what this card does is he can easily get you a uh, killer tail and you put two in there so you just need to find one more somewhere and you meet your condition so that's the uh, main reason I'm using him and he can help me to for example find other grade twos find my Ember Master and also uh, speed up my soul charging so it's a very very good card to use here and then, uh, of course, if we are playing Kill the Tail, 
which I will show you in later. We of course we need to use uh, Emblem Master. Help again help you soul charging. Uh, even from drop you can still put them in soul. Uh, the only disadvantage you have with this card is you have to have that unit on fail before you call your Emblem Master. So if you have nothing to call on your grade one turn and then you run into Emblem Master, you basically lost the skill. But that happens and we can't stop it anyway. But 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 he is still a very good regard with a higher power with some good shield value and if you are willing to use protect 2 then you can give him further uh, shield power to survive a little bit longer and then uh, I'm using the uh, demoted uh, executioner for more soul charge uh, probably some draws in uh, on Vanguard Circle, at least he can still uh, kind of gain power, so that's not uh, like really, really bad. Uh, yeah, so uh, again, s speed soul charging is very important here. So you can see this can soul charge you two cards and get you one card back from the card that you discard. This card can basically have you soul charge three. This card. So charge free of course and probably get you some draw so you can kind of speed up to at least retrain Fernie souls and then use a no life king to do some big move and then uh, I'm running one of the road here uh, so this is also a card that at first I uh, didn't consider at all but then after watching the uh, Japanese youtuber that they use uh, no life king they build up a very strong soul and then they disappear right into her to gain a uh, very high power in defense because her skill is a permanent for each soul you have uh, she will get 10k so if you use no life king you at least have 70 souls so we'll just put her as a 22k during your opponent's turn and this kind of help you a little, little bit uh, on defending because you kind of have having a uh, 12k vanguard with a trigger tank shield already for you to survive and like if you go no light king into your judiray you can at least uh, swing with her use your no light king to swing and put her in uh, superior into your judiray and kind of last one and pull her out so that's another play that you can do which sometimes is needed because you uh, do want some high power to help you win the game okay so uh, next uh, entering grid ones uh, first talking about something that we already know uh, Kyura Tail uh, Grave Researcher because you really want to reach your No Life King and then probably if you want to pick up your Castile you still want some ways so Sergeus is still a good card and easy to gain 5k help you hit some good targets and then uh kill the tail uh like constantly soul charging and uh at least resting can have a chance to restand so uh it's not kind of a wasted booster and able to counter charge is very very important so she's still here and then uh, new cards, Iron Heart Assassin, so he can uh, basically combo with Ember Master as I said before. Ember uh, Master weak point is you need to call something out, but if you uh, write your Iron Heart uh, Assassin first, then you don't need to do that at all, because once you write on top of it, you, you can you can call it to the regular circle, then you use your Ember Master skill to copy it, and once you have three more. Uh, Assassin in your soul and one on the field. After this card, when this card attack and boost, first uh, you can soul charge one. Uh, this doesn't require you to have multiple copies in soul, but if you do soul charge and you have three uh, Iron Heart Assassin in your soul, then you can counter charge one. So, since you can see uh, this deck use quite a lot of counter blast, this is 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 counter blast. And this is not a blast. So, counter charging is very important, and Kira Tail is just not enough. So, you do need to have that much. 
yeah so uh, that basically a great one and entering triggers six crits four of the PG draws two of normal draws and four heals the reason is because I do need to drop a lot of hands uh, for example poison adopter I need to drop one hand uh, no life king I need to at least give up one hand so uh, I, if I don't have enough drawing sources that's gonna hurt so that is reason why I'm running six draws and crit is still important because you uh, do want to push your opponents as much as you can so that whenever you uh, ride into your Castile he can be threatening else uh, if your opponent is sitting on like 2 damage and they let you gain an like, extra crit they can like take one take one hit and see how it goes and then they start guarding the two so pushing more uh keep building your resources getting your pieces is key to this deck yeah so uh i think this deck requires a little bit um guide on your right hook targets and some actions that you can do so uh, let's get back to it in a bit Okay, so here we are. Uh, first sprite, most ideal is to get your uh, Iron Heart Assassin so that you can pull him out next turn. Uh, second option is your Succubus. Worst case is that is to kill as hell, but you hopefully won't need to go that far. And then, say if you really write your uh, Ryan Iron Heart Assassin. Next, what we do is to uh, ride your Ember Master, pull him out, pay a color blast, and then put all three into your soul. So that whenever you boost, you soul charge one more, and you basically kind of charge the color blast that you just used. That's one. Or if you already uh, do have your kill a tail then when you ride your every master you can copy your kill a tail and still calling this out and just prepare to copy next time so still works uh won't hurt you too much but that's probably the usual plan but if you don't have your every master and still doing this that's still fine uh then your second options will be your uh, poison egg adapter still quite out and then uh, color last one discard the card whatever you want get yourself some cure tails and get one into here so now at least you're just using one and it shouldn't take you too much effort to find the third uh the fourth copy yeah so that's probably what you can do and if you do have these just uh, simply try to soul charge more uh, this you rather keep it next turn and then uh, once you get into your freeze which is like this you can say you already soul charge one with this and soul charge one with this then when you write your life king you have one two three four five six souls and you will soul charge another one so one two three four five six seven so what you need is to find yourself uh, six more soul which sometimes is kind of hard but this can help you one uh this can help you one and say uh if you already used this, then you probably should have uh, three more souls. Uh, let me just do it like this. So let's do a quick count. So first, you get to this and this, and then we get to this. We pull this out and get ourselves two of this. And one of this right and see if you do have any more kind of loss 
say if you do, you do have this, and then you soul charge free, and then you rest this to soul charge one, and then you swing, and you soul charge another one. Of course, the content, uh, just don't worry because I just pick random cards and say that. Then, when you write your Nora King in Soul Charge 1, what you have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, which you have 2 here. And you just need to find basically 1 extra, which can be uh, if you by accident have another kill attack in hand, Soul Charge 1. Uh, Put that to drop and so charge. That's already done. Or if you do have another of these, another of this, and now this, then you can simply just reach the front end source you want. Yeah. Then what you need to do is, uh, depending on the situation, and say if you really do have enough. And uh, you want to do a multiple attack uh, turn, then you can like have a field like this, and have this ready in your soul or from your hand. Then just uh, swing, 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 and then uh, attack, and put this into your soul, and put this free into your soul, and then superior, right, and kind of last one pull it out and do two more attacks or if you fake your calm enough then of course you can superior right into a uh, gust deal which uh, one more hand so it's like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 14 15 16 17 as usual what you need to do is to uh, soldier three more, and once you boost with this, you already uh, have one more, 18, and you just need two. So it's like next turn, you just get one of these to help you soul charge and you reach the 20. Which hopefully can help you survive the game longer. And also, uh, like I didn't actually mention, Rodia actually have a tanky shield. so. Uh, even with her intercepting, can still be a little bit more helpful than usual. Great too is that you only have five k. Yeah. So, uh, then it all depends on how the game flows. Because you do have two uh, options, two routes that you can go for with Life King, which will be these two, and then once you reach twenty, and if you by chance to have your hope of them just call it out and go for a final turn uh, hopefully you can win there yeah so that's basically what i need to tell about this deck uh, as always if you have any questions uh, anything you want to ask feel free to drop them in the comments below i will just let you know my answers and then next uh i'm still Having a few uh, clan selection, like clan stack that I still need to show, for example, Neo Nectar, that I'm not completely confident yet, so I'm still trying to see if I can make it better. And then, uh, of course, Link Joker, uh, I'm still testing some build that I saw, uh, and then see if I can add my own spies on it. Then those two will take some time, and then Tachi is already. Uh, tested so i do have the uh five videos going up next so you will see that and then the deck profile will go with it and you will see how wonderful that deck is but so far um uh, quick comment on this deck uh of course it's not like very high tournament level it's more for fun because your uh you still can't get proton markers that really hurts and uh you do require quite a lot of setup in order to do some good plays. In uh, I rather actually play Gustil in premium because I do have a lot of uh, 
parts that can support Castile. I can even use the uh, variant hot leg to force opponents to at least draw three cards. The guard, and I can do like uh, reset regards. I can do multiple attack with Vanguard. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that I can do in premium, which of course I will uh, also go that route and. If I can get some 5 videos recorded, then that's great, and I can come up with the deck profile with it later. But that's another story. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.